It wasn't long ago that external storage wasn't nearly as good as using the drive that was inside your computer. Not only were lots of portable storage solutions centered around mechanical drives or slower flash sticks, but the connections themselves weren't as great. USB 2.0 was a rather slow interface and eSATA, while much faster, suffered from issues with hot pluggability and compatibility. Then the various flavors of USB 3.0 hit the scene alongside flash drives and SSDs that rivaled or even beat the performance of traditional internal drives, leading us finally to the current king of the hill and the topic of today's video, sponsored by Sabrent, Thunderbolt 3.0. It's a flashy sounding connection with flashy speeds to match. In fact, it can provide up to 40 gigabits per second of bandwidth over the PCI Express bus. That's nearly seven times faster than a standard SATA connection. But if you've ever shopped for an external Thunderbolt 3 device, particularly for storage, you may have gotten some sticker shock. I mean, it does make at least some kind of sense. Although Thunderbolt 3 uses a USB Type-C connector, it's much faster than standard USB devices, about double even the newest USB 3.2 Gen 2x2. But is the extra speed alone worth it? Well, it can be, but only under specific conditions. Now there are external Thunderbolt 3 SSDs out there that can exceed the maximum speeds that USB can provide, but Keep in mind that just because an SSD uses the Thunderbolt 3 protocol doesn't mean that you're getting close to its theoretical maximum. So you need to check both of those spec sheets as well as reputable independent reviews to get an idea of whether the real world performance will actually benefit from the extra bandwidth. Furthermore, while the extra speed can be useful if you're using your external drive for something very bandwidth heavy, such as video editing, in the real world, unless you're constantly moving large files back and forth and, and timing it with your watch, the main benefit of Thunderbolt 3 is probably going to be that it connects to your system's PCI Express bus directly, so you should experience a bit less overhead and latency. To be clear, we're not saying Thunderbolt 3 doesn't have other benefits than speed. USB has certainly made up some ground in recent years and now also supports high resolution displays and up to 100 watts of power to target devices, just like Thunderbolt 3. But if every device in the chain, which includes the cable, has Thunderbolt 3 support, it can do some really cool stuff. Because it uses PCI Express, you can hook up giant rated storage towers to it without any performance concerns. And then beyond storage, you'll find all kinds of things like audio interfaces, external graphics cards, 4K capture cards, 10 gigabit networking cards, and even just bare enclosures that you could stick whatever PCI Express device you want into. But while Thunderbolt 3 definitely has some good uses, like so many things in the technology world, we would strongly recommend making sure you actually need it before you start shelling out your cash because, I mean, everything about it, even the cables that you'll need, are more expensive. I mean, though, if you really think about it, do any of us need more than four walls, a roof, and a faucet? Okay, food maybe too. Love? Speaking of love, I love doing these segues for you guys. If you do find yourself needing a Thunderbolt 3 solution, check out our sponsor for today's video, Sabrent. Their Thunderbolt 3 external NVMe SSD with bumper guard gets you read speeds of up to 2400 megabytes a second and write speeds of up to 1200 megabytes a second. It's great for video editing, content creation, or anything else that requires super speedy storage. And the bumper guard will keep your drive protected on the go. Check it out today at the link in the video description. So thanks for watching guys, like, dislike, check out our other videos, leave a comment if you have suggestions for future fast as possibles, and don't forget to subscribe and follow. But not in like a weird way, you know? Not like I'm like, ooh, ooh, ooh.